one of the most powerful principles of reality, which has the power to completely transform our lives forever, is the mirror principle. This great transformation doesn't involve a specific technique or strategy that requires action. This principle is related to the person you want to become. For example, if your desire is to become a millionaire, the truth is that you need to become a millionaire on the inside before this manifests itself on the outside. Otherwise, you'll keep jumping from one place to another, thinking that the problem lies outside you. So the first lesson in this principle is, if you don't change internally, nothing external will change. This is the fundamental essence of the mirror principle. If you master this principle, everything you touch will turn to gold. However, this requires you to confront your own demons, your own reflection words you may not like. If you're really ready for significant change, this video is for you. In this video, I'll also share with you a crucial exercise that I still practice today. So today we're going to unravel this principle and how it can actually change your life. Reality is a mirror that reflects your relationship with yourself and the world, or with reality itself, your inner world and your outer world. What do I mean when I say that? Well, let's go back to the example of becoming a millionaire. If your relationship with money is that you're not capable of making money, that you're not good at making money, then the mirror of reality will say, oh, that's what you believe, so be it. Here's more evidence of why you're not capable of making money. Consequently, life will give you more circumstances that confirm your hypothesis and the statement you're making. So I want you to remember this crucial point. The external world is merely a reflection formed by the image within, which essentially is another way of saying that it is our internal world. If we look carefully at the world around us, it's clear that most people are increasingly immersed in the frenzy of the outside world, consumed by technology, social media, and the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Many of us have lost the connection with our inner wisdom, the inner essence that we once mastered. So let's explore the four keys that will enable you to shape reality according to your desires. When we study the law of attraction, for example, one of the things most often mentioned is how reality is a mirror. What we try to do is manipulate that mirror. The first fundamental key of the mirror principle is to understand that the mirror of reality reflects two things, your relationship with yourself and your relationship with the world around you. In other words, what you see in the mirror of reality is a projection of how you see yourself and how you see the world. If you look at yourself and think you're not good enough, the mirror will simply reflect that belief I'm not good enough. I can't do this because I'm not good enough. And the mirror will respond, you're not good enough. Here's more proof of why you're not good enough. The reflection is based on the messages you send to the mirror of reality. The mirror of reality is, in a way, like a loyal friend who is always willing to validate what you believe. So, instead of trying to directly manipulate the reflected image, we must learn to transform the image we project in front of the mirror. This is similar to the act of influencing someone. When we say directly to someone, don't do that. The likelihood of them doing exactly what has been forbidden is high. However, if we choose to motivate and inspire, presenting persuasive reasons to avoid certain actions, and explaining the potential negative impacts, the person will feel more inclined to listen and accept our influence. So our goal is to influence our world indirectly. The mirror of reality simply intensifies what you say. It will always reflect what you hold to be true in your mind, both about yourself and your worldview. Please remember that this is one of the most crucial keys. Now the question is how can we change this? How can we interrupt this pattern and consciously choose what we want? You need to create your own identity and worldview your paradigm. I'll provide an example to help you understand how to create your identity. First of all, it's essential to become clear about what you want in the long term. In 10 years time, for example, in the final image, what is an activity that you see yourself doing every day? What do you have that makes your life a continuous journey of discovery? And ask yourself, who am I being now? What characteristics and traits do I have when I'm achieving, having, and doing all these things? This is crucial. Next, consider what your worldview is. 
How do you perceive the world when you are living this reality? How do you see the world when you're experiencing all this? Take a moment to bring powerful affirmations to life. First, create affirmations about your identity, how you see yourself. It could be something like, I am worthy. I am a magnet for abundance because I carry within me the magic touch of an alchemist. Then, create affirmations that relate to your vision of the world. For example, the world conspires in my favor. Everything happens at the right time and according to the divine plan as you dedicate yourself to repeating these affirmations daily and internalizing them, be prepared to witness an incredible transformation. The reality you perceive, the way you see the world, it will begin to change before your eyes. Even if what you want is apparently difficult for you today, it doesn't mean that you won't be able to achieve it tomorrow. Everything takes time, practice, and patience. So respect your time, and, but also don't let certain fears stop you from achieving the extraordinary. So make sure you take a moment to do this exercise. It has the power to completely revolutionize your life. Now let's move on to key number two. What you need to understand is that the reflection we see in our material world is formed with a certain delay. Why? Here's why in our inner world, we can create an image instantly, just by closing our eyes and visualizing what we want. That's how it works in this dimension. However, in the third dimension, the physical dimension, things take a while to manifest due to the inner nature of matter. Matter is dense and cannot break the laws of nature to make everything manifest instantly. So, that brings us to the next key you have to hold on to the belief you have established long enough for your desire to manifest. What does this mean? It means that you must remain faithful to the identity and worldview you have created until your goal reveals itself. Whatever you want to be, start by adopting the identity of someone who already is that. Ask yourself how that person would act and hold on to that identity for long enough. An interesting phenomenon occurs when people start to experience this, they realize that their lives have ups and downs. They establish a belief and identity, expecting their goal to come true, but the result doesn't appear immediately. Then their mood begins to decline along with the belief. Now, once your mood reaches its lowest point, suddenly its manifestation reveals itself. However, when it manifests, it begins to reflect your previous negative attitude with a certain delay. Then, what manifests begins to deteriorate again because it is simply reflecting how you feel. In this way, a kind of wave emerges a cycle that occurs in your life, and you can't escape it. You experience ups and downs, and there's no avoiding them. The key is to always remain loyal to the identity and worldview you have created as this is the most effective way to promote significant changes in your life. The more you complain about what you don't have and what you don't want, this will continue to be reflected in your life, giving you more reasons to confirm your worldview and identity. This is the fundamental difference between a scarcity mentality and an abundance mentality. It's simply a question of seeing the glass as half full rather than half empty. The key to applying this in your life is simple. Focus on what you want and what you already have. To make any change happen, you need to start focusing on what you already have right now, everything you have, all the progress you've made, the beautiful family you have, the things you want in your life. Just stop and think, what do I want? What would make my life a real journey of discovery? How does that look? How does it feel? It can be a vague image as long as you're focused on what you want. And when you do that, when you continue to focus on what you want, the gap between your current life and your desired life begins to close because you start to push the boundaries of your comfort zone. So that's key number three. Now let's move on to key number four, last but not least the mirror cycle. This will change everything forever because if you learn to manipulate this mirror cycle for yourself, you will no longer be so uncertain about what you do you will literally see reality changing before your eyes. It all starts with an observation. So what's the backward attitude you had in the past, all the complaints, the bad things that happened in the past, or the unconscious choices that were made? That's the present moment. When you look at the present moment and are faced with bills to pay and a job you don't like, for example, you observe this 
and use it to form your image or attitude. When I say image, I mean the internal attitude, thoughts, and feelings that we present to the mirror. When we form the image, the mirror has no choice but to reflect. So it reflects and forms reality according to the reflected image. So the way to do this is to reverse this process. For most people, they start by observing, then creating the image, and then the reflection. This is the standard cycle for puppets. But if you want to become a co-creator, a true creator of your reality, you need to reverse this cycle. I say this because I've been through it myself for many years in my life. But when I really understood this cycle, everything changed. To break this cycle, we first start with the image we would like to form. We turn our backs on the reflection, we turn our back on looking at our current reality. Because we begin to realize that what is around us now has only been formed from decisions made in the past. You need to realize this, or nothing will change. Your whole world may be falling apart, but you only focus on the things you want to confirm the things that correspond to that worldview and identity you've chosen to create. The idea is that you always keep doing it, and the more you keep doing it, it will turn into something beyond anything you've ever imagined. If you start using these principles, your life will change completely. Guys, this is real. This is something I applied, and it really worked, so I'm passing it on to you. At the very beginning of my spiritual journey, I thought it was nonsense, but when I saw the results, it was insane. Things I wanted started to come to me, even beyond what I had imagined. As we dive into the depths of the mirror of reality, we discover an inner power that we often overlook. What we see around us is, in fact, an echo of our beliefs, identity, and worldview. But the secret of transformation is that instead of just observing reality, we must shape our destiny with the image of who we want to be and what we want to achieve. As we form this new image, the mirror of reality responds with small changes, slowly transforming itself. The mirror of reality knows no limits, it only responds to what we offer it. Just like the alchemist who turns lead into gold, we can transmute our lives by adopting a mindset of abundance, focusing on what we have and what we want. Ultimately, our journey through the mirror of reality is a search for the truth within ourselves and a celebration of our ability to create, to innovate, and to transcend. I hope that this knowledge will be the flame that guides you through life's journey helping you to create the reality of your dreams. Thank you for embarking on this journey with me. If this video resonates with you, I invite you to like and subscribe to our channel, share this video with others so they can benefit from this message, and don't forget to leave a comment below sharing your thoughts, reflections, and experiences. Thanks again for watching and for joining me. Take care and see you soon.